There's no reason that you're putting water in my hair and it's straight. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Princess Randy here and I hope you are doing well. Today I have an absolutely awesome video for you. It's our second video of Deep Conversations with me where we deep condition our hair, we have deep conversations, talk about life, natural hair, or anything else that I want to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, don't forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, so you're also notified whenever I post a new video. There's no reason that you're putting water in my hair, and it's straight. So she's like, yeah, no, you need to cut this. Like, you know your hair is gonna grow back. Like, <laughs> so basically she's telling me stuff that I already knew. Like, I didn't need to hear, but she's like, you need to cut it. We didn't have hair shears, but it was good to like have someone who would like, who was ready and willing to trim my hair for me. Like, I think that makes the biggest difference because like sitting down there and going in section by section by section, I was dreading that experience again. So I was like, all right, I guess we got to whip out the camera and we're doing this. And then of course you guys know the rest is history. You did get the video on like her trimming my hair and just our girls day vlog. So you guys did see that, but um, it was it was sad because I was in some serious denial about my hair, and I just didn't want to cut it because I wanted it to grow back. I think there's this girl on YouTube that literally like she has so much hair, but she refused to cut the straight ends off. I don't know if you guys saw it, but like it just looked very weird. Like the part, the ends were crinkled, but she had like the curliest hair at the top and her hair was like pretty long it's like probably to her waist or something like that and then i thought about her i was like mm, i don't want to be that person like no offense i mean she has her reasons but like i was holding on to it for materialistic reasons and i got a prophetic prophetic word prophetic word man <laughs> listen i'll be trying to fight my accent sometimes but yeah i got a prophetic word that like sometimes you just need to let dead ends go Dead situations. Just need to let them go. And I was like, all right, all right, all right, I'm letting it go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was just like, all right, I'm really convicted right now. Like, I got it. I'm gonna let it go. So I let her cut it. And I was like, all right, this is the process that I'm starting over. I learned my lesson, no more heat. Or if I do do heat, I'm doing it myself. Like, nobody else is putting heat in my hair. Um, yeah, and even like before that, I want to say like my birthday of 2017, I had gotten a, um, yeah, I had gotten a blowout and my hairdresser was complaining because she's like, this girl got a lot of hair, she got a lot of hair, like, you don't need this wig, you can need this whatever, whatever, but yeah, she blew out my hair, was 2017? It was sometime, yeah, it was definitely 2017, I had Thick. And even like when I was relaxed, like hairdressers would always complain about my hair because it was thick and it wasn't long, but it was it was a decent length. So like even when I went to get my hair blown out for like weaves and wigs and stuff like that, they would put so much heat. I was like, nope, I am gonna do my own heatless blowouts for different hairstyles and stuff. And I've definitely done my heatless blowout when I had a um like hair appointments and stuff and it was fine. Like my heatless blowouts work. But um yeah, needless to say, started over the process and um basically I realized that my curls looked so much more different. Like my curls weren't as like defined anymore. Um they were like stretched and I think it was predominantly because of all that weight, the dead ends. Ooh, law mercy, the dead weight that you've been holding on to strained the rest of my hair that was growing. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. <laughs> no, but you think about this. Okay, so 
You hold it on to a dead weight, right? And it impacts anything else that you're trying to grow, anything else that you're trying to do in your life, right? And it won't be as effective or it won't look the way it's supposed to look or it won't do the thing it's supposed to do because you had all this dead weight for so long and now the residue or the the um the aftermath of whatever that dead weight was okay let me put this into other terms okay there's some people in your life that you just need to let go of right and because of your refusal to let go of those people they impacted your new friendships because of like maybe their jealousy or maybe they try to run that friend off or whatever the case may be. So now you have an impaired friendship with this person that you genuinely want to be friends with, but then you let go of that old person like you gotta go, you're not, a, you're toxic or whatever it is that you are. But because of that impact that that old person had, the dead weight had, your friendship with this new person is now tainted and now you have to work through those things. Now you have to build that friendship up a little bit more. Now you have to put in extra work. Had to put in extra work in my hair because I was like, no, that's not my actual curls. I know what my curls are supposed to look like. No, that's not what's meant for me. I know what's meant for me, okay? Come on, somebody. I'm not supposed to be me preaching at all. It just came to me like, <laughs> come on, somebody. Wow. That's a word. I just need to end this video. Like, that's a word right there. No, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so I got that prophetic word. And then, um, I just had to put in that extra work and make sure that I was taking care of my hair. That's when I became even more consistent. That's when I continued all these different conversations with other naturalistas. I would ask you guys what videos you want to see, but I was doing my hair consistently. Like on a weekly basis, I was deep conditioning. I was trying different hairstyles. I was trying out different products. I was trying to see what worked for my hair. I was trying to like make sure I had like a routine set up. And if like I knew I wasn't gonna be doing my routine because of school or any other thing that was to come, I made sure that I had my hair in a protective style so I didn't have to worry about it for that week or those few weeks that I wasn't able to do it. So got pretty consistent with it. And now we flourishing, now we here. You know, we're doing our thing. This product is like gliding through my hair that I don't even need to do much to it. And because it's an overnight thing, I'm not detangling my hair thoroughly because I want to see how this product actually works. I want to allow it to work, you know? Allow it to do its thing. So that kind of sums up why I'm a natural, why I had to start over the process, why I had to continue the process. Needless to say, my mom is now natural. I'm gonna let her, maybe one of these days she's gonna get to come on the channel and she'll get to talk to you guys about like why she chose to become natural and her journey there. But yeah, everyone in my immediate family is now natural. So we love it, we love to see it. And yeah. So, um, needless to say, if you're considering becoming natural, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Mainly because there's so much beauty in the way that God has made you, the way God created you. And you're not gonna be able to see that beauty unless you see all of it. Like you don't try to hide anything or tweak certain things about you that you're like, oh, this is different. Oh, I don't really like this or I don't really like that. Like you should love everything about you. And it's easier said than done, clearly. But at the same time, 
we need to be able to look at it in the lens that God sees it. Like, there's a reason he gave me curly hair. Or he, there's a reason he gave me straight hair. There's a reason that my nose is broad. There's a reason that yada yada, whatever it is, right? Um, so we need to learn to love those things about ourselves that make us unique, that make us different. Because to be a copy of someone else is an injustice to yourself because you have so much potential, you have so much beauty, you have so much um, purpose in yourself that if you're trying to imitate someone else, you would never, number one, be able to fulfill their purpose, but also number two, your purpose goes to waste. Like, what's the point of you being here, right? And we know that at the end of the day, God created us for a purpose and us fulfilling purpose um, impacts the lives of others, whoever it is that he has brought us to impact. And I really loved today as I like was with one of my dearest friends and she came over and we were just talking about so many things. But one of the things that really stood out to me was like um, our conversation about being grateful for the little, being grateful for where you are because like that's you're there for a reason. So we were talking about like our YouTube, my YouTube channel, like your Instagram following, your social media and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's so true. I'm grateful for my 243 subscribers right now. Like I never even thought I would even get this far, um, especially in this time of the year. My goal was 200 um, by the end of this year or 250 by the end of this year. But it's looking like I'm even much closer to that goal way before the year ends. And I've got to thank for that. And it's not about numbers, but I'm being grateful for the people that God is allowing me to impact, the lives that God is allowing me to impact, and just being grateful for where I'm at because at the end of the day, it's not about the it's not about the quantity, but it's about the quality, like the people that are being impacted, the lives that are being impacted. If it's even one person that's being impacted by my channel, like, great. <laughs> like I'm doing something versus no one and having like a million subscribers like no that's not the goal i believe that's it i am actually just gonna put this on my head i want to show you guys how much of the product i actually use though it's not a lot and don't mind my little hair that's in there this is how much i used Ooh, not much and it covered my entire head of hair so this is probably gonna be like five or six uses which is awesome. But yeah, I'm just gonna take my shower cap now. Put it on top of my head. All right, so I'm doing this. And then because I'm sleeping with it in my hair, we're just gonna put this in our head. Hmm, wrong way. I'm gonna go change all the fun stuff and then go to sleep. My little. Literally woke up like this. <laughs> I have a I had a little bit of a headache this morning just because you know you're going to bed with soggy wet hair. You're most likely gonna get a head cold. But I'm fine now. Just this earlier this morning I was feeling a bit of a mind break. Migraine. Okay. So I just wanted to show y'all what the curls look like. And I'm actually going to go in and fully detangle my hair. But I wanted to show you guys how much hair I lost this time. And as you guys know, this time around, we don't lose that much hair. It's the same thing. So, as you know, my hair is not breaking off. 
I'm just gonna go in and finger detangle all throughout just to make sure I got everything. And keep in mind, I'm about to do a protective style, which um, I'm most likely gonna use a brush to get it really sleek. But I don't usually use like tools to detangle my hair. I only use them to like smoothen certain parts of my hair. So it's gonna be cute. All right, we're getting there. Does my hair like this product? Absolutely. Like, I wish I could keep this in as a leave in for my hair. But unfortunately, it's not a leave in. Because look, if I can achieve this much definition, wow. Just wait. There's no gel in there. It's just this one leave in overnight deep conditioner. <laughs> I thought it was a scam because I'm like, a lot of people talk about deep conditioning. They're like, you should find the same difference if you leave it in for 30 minutes versus overnight. Like, it's the same like result that you'll get. Um, but I think this product definitely needed the time to work in uh, because it was just sitting on my hair. And then the fact that I put on my bonnet over it, I trapped in all the heat, and it was just able to work. I do need to get back into using my steamer though. I've been slacking. And my hair is still coming out, but not as much. I don't know if you guys can tell. Alright, so I'm going to detangle the other side and then um, I'm going to go wash my hair and show you guys what it's looking like. Is it just me or my hair looks longer when I do like the flip over? It just looks better. I don't know. Might be, might not be longer. But to me, it just looks better this way. All right, we're gonna go wash this hair out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. I'm just really impressed and it smells so good. So good. Then I washed my hair regular, like just down with the shower head. And yeah, my hair is just wet with water. But we got some type of definition. It's soft. It feels Super, super moisturized. Or not moisturized, but it feels hydrated. I'm about to put a moisturizer in it, so it's moisturized. But wow, I love it that my curls show even after I just put water in my hair. But I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit, so I'm gonna leave my hair out like this, and then I'm probably gonna put it up in like two um, puffs. Like condition it, put it up in two puffs, and style my hair later today. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, my deep conversations, why I became natural, as well as the journey 
here to where we are today. Um, I always love doing like checks whenever I'm like stretching my hair, whatever I'm putting products in my hair and stuff. So my hair is on a pretty decent length. It's like at the bottom of this D, imbalanced. Right there. Y'all see that? Yeah, so, so we do doing our thing, you know? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> every time I do that, I have to like put the hair back up like so it blends with the rest of it. But shrinkage is real. Don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you, okay? Okay? All right. <laughs> I am so tempted to straighten my hair, but I'm not going to do it, guys. I am not going to do it. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell button so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.